Poppy has got to be one of the most annoying champions to play against in all of League of Legends. Regardless if she's top, jungle or support, if you have a dash in your kit and Poppy goes anywhere near you, you can kiss that mobility goodbye. With the amount of dashes in the game right now, she's a perfect pick for so many situations. Yet people still sleep on her. Today's guide is all about this fierce Yordle with a hammer and how to play her in the jungle. First, a quick rundown of her abilities. Her passive will make her next basic attack have extra range and deal more damage. She throws a buckler which falls on the ground. Picking it up will grant her a shield for a couple seconds. Her Q will smash the ground with her hammer, dealing physical damage and slowing enemies. After a brief delay, the damage will be repeated in the same area. Apart from the base damage and AD scaling, this can deal up to 16% of the target's maximum HP in physical damage, if you hit an enemy twice. It may not look all that menacing in-game, but the damage from this ability can actually chunk down your HP bar by quite a bit. Her W is alongside her R, probably the most annoying ability in her kit to play against. The passive will grant her extra armor and magic resist and double the bonus if she's under half HP. But the active, oh the active is where it gets frustrating. Activating it will give her extra move speed and create an aura around her that will deal damage and block any enemy dashes, grounding them and slowing them. This will completely counter a ton of mobile champions like Lee Sin. Her E is just a dash towards an enemy, it's quite good as a gap closer and if she collides with the champion, she will drag them with her, dealing damage, and if she manages to knock them into a wall, it will also stun them. Her ultimate will make her spin and charge her hammer for a couple seconds. If she hits a champion, it will deal some damage, but most importantly, she will send them flying towards their base. This is insane for teamfights, as you can hit multiple enemies with it, and instantly turn a 5v5 into a 4 or 3v5. Now, the reason we're doing this guide is simple. She got a huge buff in patch 12.8. Before, the range on her ult was 2400 units. If you're lucky, sometimes there was a chance you could still get back to the fight before it ended if you got hit by it. But now, almost a thousand range was added to the ultimate. That means now, it's about the same distance from your mid lane tier 1 to the mid lane inhibitor turret. After this buff, there's no way you're getting back to the fight if you get ulted on. That's not the only buff, however. Her W got its cooldown reduced by 4 seconds at every rank. That means that now, fully maxed, her W will only have a 12 second cooldown. These buffs are massive and we wouldn't be surprised if she gets nerfed a little bit in the coming patches. So, now for the actual guide. Here's the path you're gonna wanna take. First, start at your red buff. After that, path towards your chickens and then clear the entire blue side of your jungle. After that, do a scuttle crab and then gank. Poppy is not a jungler that likes to farm and scale. Instead, she excels at ganks and skirmishes. So, look to get your lanes ahead. Q is gonna be your main source of damage, and when killing the jungle camps, it's gonna be your best friend, so max it first. Your passive will make sure that you stay relatively healthy while clearing the jungle. As for your next ability to max, some people do E, but we actually think that W is better, since it gets the most value if the enemy team has a lot of dashes. E is indeed better if the enemy team comp is all immobile, but if you're not trying to counter dashes, then why did you pick Poppy in the first place? So that means max W first. It's also possible to invade if their jungler is weak in the early game, like Evelyn, in which case you would start at the enemy raptor camp and then do their red and after that your blue side. They won't be able to match you in experience since you will have two buffs in level 4 while they are stuck at level 3. If possible, when ganking, try going behind the enemy. This along with your EW combo will almost guarantee that the enemy can't escape, especially if they've overextended and just pushed too much. Just don't miss your combo and hope your bot lane isn't on autopilot and you should be getting some free kills. For items, Divine Sunderer is a good option for some extra damage, but if you want to tank more, Frostfire Gauntlet is your go-to option. After that, if you're against AD, Deadman's Plate and Thornmail should be your next option. They synergize insanely well with Poppy. Deadman's Plate for the move speed and Thornmail cause it's just in general a good item versus AD, especially with all the hitting in the game nowadays. If they have crit champions that auto attack a lot, then Frozen Heart and Randuins are really good. You can also pair Frozen Heart with Fimble Winter, since the extra mana will be transformed into HP. Versus AP, Force of Nature will be very useful due to the extra movement speed that it gives, sort of like Deadman's Plate. Spirit Visage is always nice if you have enchanters on your team and it will also buff your passive. Abyssal Mask is a more supportive option, good for enabling your teammates. That's some quite basic stuff, but there are also some other niche items that you can go, such as Silvermere Dawn versus Heavy CC, 
or Moth Malmortius. If you want to go offensive items, then Black Cleaver, Titanic Hydra, and Sterax are good. Maybe you can even consider picking up some Lethality, like Yumus Ghost Blade, which would be very nice for the movement speed, or Umbral Glaive, which also got buffed. For boots, you can go Ionian Boots of Lucidity if you want cooldown reduction, but depending on the enemy team comp, you can also go MR or Armor Boots, or even Mobility Boots if you want to perma gank. For runes, Phase Rush is gonna be the most popular one. Movement speed is gonna be your best friend, so get Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, and Water Walking to be fast as f boy. If you're really serious about the movement speed, go Relentless Hunter and Sudden Impact secondary. Otherwise, go for tanky runes in the Resolve Tree. And that's about it. If you're wondering about matchups, then Lee Sin, Jarvan, and Rengar are really good matchups for you. They are absolutely countered by you and they just cannot play the game since they rely so much on their dashes and your W just won't let them use them. That goes for just about anything that has a dash. LeBlanc, Riven, Ezreal, anything with mobility, they will just want to uninstall versus you. Of course, it's not all rainbow and sparkles, she does have some tough matchups, like Elise and Olaf, who are early game champions that will absolutely destroy you if they invade you. Do not try to fight them, they will beat the shit out of you. Kartus is also a bad pick since he outscales you and is just a ticking time bomb. But apart from that, she's a solid pick in the jungle. So, remember to gank a lot, tank for your team, and make the enemy assassins go AFK at 15 minutes. Until next time,